Today in the gallery, we have members of the Armenian Council of America, as well as the members of the Armenian National Committee, the ANC just right above us, who are witnessing uh, the debate on this very important assembly joint resolution. Uh, obviously, they're here to support AJR number 32 by Assembly Member Mike Gatto. This resolution calls upon our federal decision policymakers, both the State Department as well as the President, to recognize the independent republic of Nagorno Karabakh, also known as Artsakh. This region is historically Armenian and is currently populated by almost 100% Armenians. The United States Senate, in fact, passed a very similar resolution in the U.S. Senate. The ethnic Armenian people of this region have suffered tremendously, dating back to the last century and continuing into this one. And they deserve a free and independent homeland where they will not be in danger of persecution. Now, if you need a witness to the suffering, you might just confer with some of our assembly colleagues on the other side who have relatives in this very region and who have relatives who have died in the Armenian genocide. This year, we celebrate the 100th anniversary of the start of World War I. One of the lessons we learned in that is that imperialism, allowing one ethnic group to rule over another, simply does not work. Now, some might say that these resolutions don't matter. Let me underscore and let me emphasize the following. Well, ask, quote unquote, does not matter to the people of South Africa. California was the first governmental entity to put its moral weight behind ending apartheid. We did so way before the federal government acted. Does it matter to the people of the Middle East? California was one of the very first governmental entities to speak up for the divestment of, from Iran when it became clear that Iran had intentions on destroying its neighbors. We did so again before the federal government acted. Each year, California commemorates the Armenian genocide and calls it a genocide, something, unfortunately and sadly, our federal government has yet to do. Nonetheless, I know that these statements of our collective values as Californians do matter, and I know this matters to my constituents because I represent proudly and honorably Little Armenia and East Hollywood in the 22nd Senatorial District. California can be a thought leader that seeks to motivate and change our world. With that in mind, I ask you to support democracy, self-determination, freedom, and a peaceful resolution of conflicts and the international recognition, recognition of Artsakh. With that, Mr. President, as well as colleagues, I respectfully ask for an I vote. Thank you, Senator DeLeon. Debate or discussion on this resolution, beginning with Senator Berryhill. Yes, thank you, Mr. President, and thank you, Mr. DeLeon, for those, for those nice words. Uh, members, as Americans, we all understand the desire to be an independent nation, free of tyranny and free uh, to form a government that best reflects our values. It's our own history. Many times on this floor, we address the plight of the oppressed and express our desire as a state legislature for people to be free and to be able to determine their own destinies. AGR 32 is no different. The, the people of the Gordo Karbakh Republic did not elect to become part of Azerbaijan in 1921. They were forced into it by the Soviets. It's now an understandable, desirable to be free. Since declaring its independence, the Gordo Karbakh has held free, transparent, and democratic elections. <coughs> it is, <coughs> excuse me, it is fitting that the United States stands behind regions seeking democracy, and I urge your I vote. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Berryhill. Senator Lara. Thank you, Mr. President and members. I also rise to speak in strong support of this important resolution and thank our colleague, Senator Member Mike Cotto, for bringing this to the legislature. You know, this resolution encourages and supports the Nagorno-Karabakh Republic's continuing efforts to develop as a free and independent nation. The resolution states that this region has historically been Armenian territory, populated by an overwhelming majority of Armenians, and yet was illegally severed from Armenia by the Soviet Union in 1921. The Senate District 33, which I proudly represent, is home to a thriving and vibrant Armenian community, people who have embraced the important American values of freedom, 
democracy, and justice, this resolution asks the President and Congress to extend those fundamental values to the people of the Nagorno-Karabakh Republic and encourages their continued development as a free and independent nation. I respectfully ask for your I vote. Thank you, Senator Lada. Further debate or discussion? Further debate or discussion on this resolution? Seeing none, Senator De Leon, you may close. Thank you, uh, Mr. President, uh, and thank you, colleagues, for your indulgence in hearing uh, 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 our comments with regards to support of Assembly Joint Resolution Number 32 from Assemblymember Mike Gata, who obviously has bestowed us uh, with his honorable presence here on the Senate floor, the red carpet. Again, this is about self-determination. It's about independence, and it's about democracy. And let me underscore one more time when folks say joint resolutions, whether they're Senate or Assembly, don't matter. Again, let me underscore, we were the first governmental entity in the United States of America who sent a very clear message to the federal government that apartheid in South Africa does matter. And then again, when it came to disinvestment in Iran because of the danger that they pose to neighbors around the Middle East, in the Middle East, you know, around Iran, we were the first governmental entity in the nation to send a very clear message to Washington, D.C. These resolutions matter. With that, I respectfully ask for an I vote. Mr. Secretary, please call the roll. Anderson. Aye. Bell. Aye. I. Berryhill. Aye. I. Block. Canella. Aye. I. Corbett. Aye. I. Correa. Aye. Aye. I. De Leon. Aye. I. Desaunier. Evans. Aye. I. Fuller. Gaines. I Galgioni, I Hancock, Hernandez, I Hill, Hueso, I Huff, Jackson, Knight, Lada, I Leno, Ted Lou, I Carol Lou, I Mitchell, Monning, Morell, I Nielsen, I Padilla. I Pavley, I Roth, Steinberg, Torres, I Vidak, I Walters, Wolk, Wyland, I. Please call the absent members. Correa, I. Correa, we have his I. Anderson, I Block, Desanye, Fuller, Hancock. Hill, Huff, Jackson, Knight, I, Leno, Mitchell, Monning, Roth, Steinberg, Walters, Wolk. Senator DeLone moves the call. 